Welcome to the second module of the R learning series. This module will teach you how to get started with R and provide you basic knowledge of how R Studio works. These topics will be covered in the video. Let's start with a comparison of R and R Studio. You might learn from others that R Studio is more user friendly than R. But do you know what's the difference between them? Actually, R and R Studio are not two different versions of the same thing. R Studio is based on R, hence they work together well. R is a programming language for statistical calculation, while R Studio is an integrated development environment that helps you develop programs in R. You can use R without using R Studio, but you can use R Studio without using R. Thus, R comes first. To simplify, R Studio is an interface and R is an interpreter. You can download R from this website. Both Mac users and Windows users can download this application. After downloading, you can start with the programming part even without R Studio. On the other hand, if you want to use R Studio, you need both R and R Studio applications. This is the official website for you to download it. This series of video will use R Studio for demonstration because it is more user-friendly for programming beginners. Let's start with the introduction of the interface. This window is called the console, where you're typing commands and results are returned. The environment window shows all the objects that you have created in the current R session, and the history tab shows commands used before. Finally, the bottom right window is used for displaying plots or graphs and for using the help system. Let's move on to the further features of RStudio. First, RStudio is designed to write scripts easily. A script is a text file that contains a set of commands and comments. You can add a new script by clicking File, New File, and R Script. R is handy also because they can call up potential syntax options while you're writing the codes. You can use the Tab key to quickly select a variable that you want to mention. For example, Suppose I am trying to access a variable in a dataset called account, but I haven't memorized the variable names. When I type in this, RStudio will show the possible variables for me to choose. Next, RStudio makes it convenient to view and interact with objects stored in your environment. In the environment window, all the objects that you have stored, including data, scatters, vectors, Metrics and model outputs will be shown. Moreover, the summary of the information that is stored in those objects will also be shown there. If you want to check whether the object is created and stored, simply click on your datasets to open them and you can view them as spreadsheets. RStudio also makes it easy to set your working directory and access files on your computer. You can navigate to every folder in the Files window and select a folder that you want to set as working directory. After clicking the folder, go to the More button and choose Set as working directory. Another way to do this is to select Session, Set working directory, and choose directory depending on where you store the files. Briefly conclude, due to the convenience and friendly features of RStudio, we highly recommend our beginners to learn this programming language with RStudio. Now, let's have a deeper understanding of what Working Directory is. The Working Directory is a file path on your computer that sets the default location of any files you read into RStudio or save out of RStudio. If you ask R to import the dataset from a text file or save a data frame as a text file, it will assume that the file is inside your Working Directory. Therefore, the first step of conducting data analysis with R is to set a working directory. Be aware that you can only have one working directory active at any given time. The active working directory is called your current working directory. To view your current working directory, you can use the get working directory command. You can use the shortcut command plus return on Mac or Ctrl plus Enter on Windows to run the command. After running the code, 
you can view your working directory like this. Apart from previous ways to set working directory, you can also use the set working directory function. By typing the path in brackets, you can tell RStudio where your files are. If you want to check what files RStudio can read in your working directory, you can use the directory command. After setting up the working directory, you can read the file into RStudio. Suppose that you want to read a CSV file, you can use the read.csv command. In the brackets, you should put the file name with quotation marks. The most important thing you should remember is that always set working directory before reading files. If you read file before setting the directory, the computer may give you error message as it doesn't know where the file located in. Last part of this video is about the methods to save file. To save the script, you can either click on the blue save icon, use the keyboard commands Ctrl plus S on Windows, or Command plus S on Mac, or go to File button and click Save. This file will be reopened in RStudio the next time you reopen RStudio, unless you click on the cross icon on the File tab to close it. To quickly wrap up, this video teaches you how to download R and RStudio, understand RStudio interface, set and view working directory, as well as save R scripts. Next module will teach you more basic and useful commands. If you are interested in that, please move on to the next video.